Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your monthly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's jump into it. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. So we've got um, how you're coming into the month is high honor. Okay. And then we have courtship as the advice. And then we have a courthouse as the outcome. All right, so it just looks like somebody wants to take a relationship to the next level. Somebody wants the ring, honey. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have marriage. So somebody wants to be married, get married. They want it to be official, especially with the courthouse coming up as the outcome here. It talks about the pesky documents, the paper pushing, the getting things done in terms of um, name changes, birth certificates, things of that nature. It talks about the peskiness of um, moving something forward. We've got high, I don't know if somebody wants a really expensive wedding or a really, we, okay, before I go there, before I clarify the cards, when I was shuffling off camera, I had the Empress come out in reverse. None of the cards should be reversed. She wanted to come out in reverse. So somebody's like the pampered princess. Someone is nasty, mean-spirited, unable to create, maybe to get pregnant. There's infertil infertility issues. Again, someone's nasty, like nasty in terms of maybe cleanliness and, and so forth. Someone has a nasty spirit. Someone has a very sharp tongue. I don't know if you're going to marry this person or if you are this person. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what high honor is. What is high honor? Somebody here gets a lot of, um, okay, so we got the temperance card, the fool card, and the, this will be a great leap of faith, you know, and somebody definitely wants to get married. We got all major arcanas here and yours coming out, Sag, but it's like, Somebody knows that they're married in, into wealth or they'll be taken care of or their stability. It, tells, it talks about a wealthy partnership or someone has married into wealth. But at the same time, somebody didn't have anything or someone took someone in or somebody is under somebody's rule or thumb here. Somebody is the boss. Somebody sets the rules. Um, it talks about uh, like-minded individuals too. Maybe you guys weren't so like-minded when you met, but now you are. It uh, talks about something changing though. It's like somebody's anticipating a breakup or somebody's putting somebody on hold, a pause, a breakdown. Could be dealing with a Piscean person. There's something for you to learn in terms of dealing with this in individual here. Somebody's pushy. They wanna know the date. They wanna know the time. They wanna know when it's gonna happen. They wanna know if we are getting married. Somebody is also could be on the brink of giving birth or trying to give birth or again, there's infertility issues because that comes after the death card. It's just like somebody uses sexuality to manipulate, to keep someone confused. There's also somebody dealing with another person here to offset them not getting what they want or not being able again to procreate, to bring in bring something into institution. There is either you sad or the other person contemplating, thinking about what to do, juggling this decision. Is this the person for you? Does this person have somebody that they're having sex with when they go away or someone's asking that about you? Somebody has a lot of restless and sleepless, sleepless nights over you or you over them because there's some Something that is unclear. Somebody still puts another person on a pedestal here. Maybe an ex or somebody that is outside of the connection. This seems like a rocky month. If somebody wants answers. They want to know when, where, how. Um, are we still doing this? Uh, but there's friction here. Somebody's not sure. Yeah. They're not sure. And it could definitely be a third party. Someone is looking at the other person like, you know, I made you or I'm the boss over you. I have the money or I have the, the resources. Yeah. 
This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you, Sag, for being here. Have a really good month. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.